Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we are going to combine the European Nightcrawler bins, that one and this one, uh, to make room so that my tropical trees can be under the light. I'm also going to combine in the A Naturel program all the way into one bin. So everybody's going to move in with the Northeast Worms, so stick around and let's watch the process. Part one is going to be, I am going to take all of the finished castings over here and I'm going to harvest those. And then I'm going to scoop up all of the in-process stuff and also the worms and get them ready to move in with the original European Nightcrawlers. So let me put you down and we'll get started on that. Okay, I'm getting quite a bit of everything pulled out of this bin so that uh, all of the stuff that is semi-finished can go in the other bin. So let's take a look at the feeding end of this bin and then we can have a look and see what they did with that yucky feeding we gave them last time. Okay, so these are all of the, I don't know, casting bowls that fill up in the uh, screen if you screen when things are too wet. So that is what most of that is. And it still smells very earthy. Um, we are having a little bit of problem with moisture last time. But let's see what we've got in the feeding zone. Okay, ooh, nice. Nice turnout for all the worms. Paper kinda... That was that tortillas that I told you that I was pretty sure we were gonna have a problem with even though I added a great deal of moisture to. So as I'm flipping things over it's been four weeks uh, since we fed, and they've done a really good job on the paper. The food looks to be gone. I think this is uh, probably lemongrass. We harvested our lemongrass so that we could move it into the basement for the year. I tried overwintering it last year and it didn't work, but my son has a similarly green thumb, so he's going to try doing it this year. So it looks like we've got a lot of worms. Here this should, you know, work out really well. Mmm, I can smell that lemongrass. That's nice. It's one of those, um, it doesn't smell like lemons per se, but it definitely has a really great citrusy taste. The worms seem to like it. I mean, it's knocked down quite a bit. There was probably almost three gallons of um, lemongrass tops in there when we uh, put it in here. Lots of worms, so I'm glad that they, for the most part, migrated out of the finished castings. Right now I have about 15 gallons in a tote that I just sifted off the, uh, the finished side of the wedge. And these guys are going to go live with the uh, OG uh, European night crawlers that I got from Emily, the crazy worm lady. And... So these guys are going to get mixed in with a completely different population. So I don't know if uh, worm genetics works that way, but they're going to get a bunch of new friends to play with, if you know what I mean. All right, let's move on to the other bin and get it ready to meet its neighbors. All right, here we are at the original European night crawlers, and we are going to harvest this part over here and then keep the remaining part here where hopefully all the worms are so that we can move in their neighbors. All right, let me put you down and we can get started. Okay, just gonna use my one half inch screen here, get rid of the larger parts. All right, as you can see, I have uh, harvested about half of the barrel. So now we're gonna take a look and see what they did with their last feeding. So here's all the, the harvested little ball things. We're going to move those over and see what they did with that gooey food we gave them last time. See if we get any nice worm ball or anything. There we go. Looks like you can still see some of the tomato skins in there. But even though that that was a really stinky feeding, I don't smell anything right now. So it looks like they even did in the tortillas, and I really was skeptical if they were going to be able to get through those tortillas in a couple of weeks. But so far I'm not seeing any of the tortillas. 
So that's good. That's good. They actually managed to uh, exceed expectations. Isn't that what we're always looking for? It's still uh, about 70 degrees in the basement, but the humidity has dropped to about 50%. So hopefully the castings that I have in those buckets will um, dry out really well for me. And then all of these guys can get some new roommates. Isn't that exciting? For anybody that's counting, that is one year on this uh, pumpkin stem. They are just... Uh, they should probably make cars out of that stuff. It lasts longer than you really want it to. Instead of cars lasting not as long as you'd like them to. Alright, so there we go. And I am going to go start grabbing up all the worms from the northeast worm side. And I'll let you watch these little guys squirm in. Okay, here we are. We're going to release the worms. I'm going to take these original worms and move them over. Oh, that's a nice worm ball right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right. Now here is a 10 gallon container, 38 liter container of Northeast Worms European Nightcrawlers. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, treat this like it's all unfinished, which for the most part it is. And I'm going to move everybody kind of over so that I can make sure that these guys have enough food and bedding for now what is probably maybe eight pounds of worms. I think the one pound of worms that I got from Gatano probably have turned into two or three, and I think there was four a year ago on this side, so let's just call it eight. Eight pounds. All right, let me get them some bedding and some food. Okay, camera stopped on me there for a second, but we have given them some lovely slices of unripe pumpkin, courtesy of my brother-in-law, and then we're going to cover them back up with a ton of new bedding so that all of these worms can have wonderful, wonderful area to stretch out in now that there's twice as many worms. All right, let's go get the all natural bin. Okay, so now we're going to add on the all natural bin as they are also just European night crawlers. And we'll kind of take a look at them and see how this experiment ended. We started out with 20 of the European night crawler adults that I got from Northeast Worms. And let's take a look and see what we have now. So of course these were only fed leaf matter and things that could be found inside the yard. Uh, you know, nothing. They're breeding. You can see that the, the worms are definitely breeding. I'm not sure. I mean, we started out with 20 almost a year ago. And I'm seeing a lot of smaller worms. So I'm assuming that they are breeding and that there will be more than 20 of them in here. But they were only fed leaf matter and stuff that was falling in my bin. Look at that guy. Isn't he chunky? Look at that. I like fat worms. It just shows that I'm doing something that they like and that they're choosing to grow their families and all of that stuff. <laughs> That is the end of the Ah Natural bin, and uh, there was quite a few more little tiny baby worms, but I didn't really want to disturb them or take a chance of squishing them, trying to count them. But there you have it. Everybody put what you counted in the comments below. I think I'm going to give everybody a little bit of a, uh, 
little bit of worm chow on the top here. If you want to watch more European Nightcrawler awesomeness, I will put the playlist over there on the left side. YouTube thinks you're going to like to see the video on the right-hand side. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.